Because higher education is such an important good to this country and to the world, I think having somebody like Sam Smith who found that education is central to what he's about and bringing more students into the education realm, it, it becomes really something that changes the world. And if you look at the 15 years of students that graduated under Sam Smith's leadership, you do see people who are going out and making a difference. And that's really what Sam wanted to see. Sam is an amazing guy. He came out of very humble backgrounds financially, and he used education to really elevate his life and to move into this incredibly successful career. So in many ways, the fact that Sam spent 15 years as the president of America's best land-grant college uh, is uh, just very fitting since uh, his goal has always been to extend education to more kids. For me, he was the, the you know the typical father growing up. He was the uh, father who became an assistant scoutmaster when I joined Scouts. He was, and many people may not know, he was an Eagle Scout himself. Uh, he was the father who helped me with my paper route. Uh, he was the father who negotiated with me to figure out how much I was going to get paid to mow the lawn. More than anything, I'd probably use the word educator. This this comes up in nearly every conversation about him. I think he understands that education is really the pathway for young people and for their futures. I was actually born in California, as was my sister, while he went to UC Berkeley. His work life was always part of our family life. Throughout all of my childhood, we were in places where education was happening, where educators and researchers were. Uh, we were with my father on campus, we were with him in the labs. We left Berkeley and went to Penn State. And then from there, literally, he left to, to go to Washington State. And the tie, which many people don't see between those three institutions is, all three of them are land-grant institutions. He's a real land-grant university guy at heart. He's all about the community, service to the community, and making sure that the university is an integral part of the community in which it serves. That belief that education impacts lives and impacts communities, uh, I, I think is critical. And you know that's part of the legacy I think he's left for all of us. Something else needs to be said about Sam. And that is that when WSU got Sam, they also got Pat. Most people will say, when my father came to Pullman, you'll notice I always say when my parents came to Pullman. Inseparable, they, they come as a pair, uh, and my mother played a very important role uh, throughout all the years in Pullman. They have such a devotion to each other, but most of all, they're very devoted to their kids. He loves to talk about them, that's his first love. They are a tireless duo. She is a great thought partner and an ally in all that Sam does. They were a force when they were at WSU, and they continue to be a force. It always strikes me how many of the photos show them together at events and show them really showing off Washington State. And that pride, I think, is just as evident in her as it is in him. I think his biggest impact was completely changing the image of WSU, both on campus and throughout the state, if not the country. He defined, really, the culture of philanthropy and giving back to that university. He raised the money for major causes, for all of the things that really took Washington State University to the next level. He's a communicator. Up until Sam came uh, for years, the feeling at WSU was to be a real competitor to the University of Washington. And there wasn't anything very friendly between the two. Sam began to reach out to the, to the UW and made friends, made acquaintances, and opened the doors so that the whole atmosphere, uh, by the time he finished his, his duties, was much more cordial. He is the father of branch campuses in the state. It was sort of interesting because of the um, rivalries between the UW and WSU at the time. Uh, UW didn't have much interest in branch campuses. Sam saw that as an opportunity for WSU, and now WSU has a remarkable presence throughout the entire state. Those campuses and that distance ed operation, which still today is a national leader, is a tangible example, I think, of that land-grant spirit. And, and Washington State and my father thinking about 
how do you engage with a community in a new digital global time? Many institutions, when you look and see how universities in Florida grew, when you look and saw how universities in some other states built campuses in addition to simply putting curriculum out on the web or putting them in electronic format, it's the Washington State model. Uh, that's, that's where we all stole the idea. The programs have been elevated, the infrastructure has been, been elevated. He took them to a whole new level. What Sam really pushed was, he personally went out as the chief ambassador for WSU to extend the reach. And as a result of that, the university got many, many new donors and friends that really didn't even previously have a connection, and they remain friends today. Whenever we go out anywhere, uh, when we walk down the street, and this could be in Pullman or it could be in Seattle or even some locations, I would never expect uh, people see him, people walk up to him. He knows their names, he knows their stories. There's a certain magic about WSU, I've always said this. You know, you sense it in Pullman, you sense it on the campuses, you sense it from its graduates. It really is an impactful profession and it's one that I think he, like all of us, are, are really grateful that we were able to find and uh, I'm delighted delighted to have gone into the, to the family business with uh, him as a model. His commitment didn't stop when he retired from his presidency. Sam has continued to give his time and his attention to many issues um, that have really changed people's lives over the years. I think his uh, involvement with Western Governors University where he has helped tens of thousands of people across our country be able to really achieve their post-secondary educational aspirations and I think his long time tenure with me as a board member with College Success Foundation where we have really helped to support thousands of kids to attain over 8,000 post-secondary degrees. So Sam is someone who is a tireless advocate and I can assure you that Sam's work is not done yet. Sam very much realizes his, his impact but he is like a lot of visionaries, he is very humble, he is very confident and persistent, and he's, he, he's never gonna rest. You know, there's always, every accomplishment means you got another mountain to climb. He knows that he made a great difference to the school, that he kept it going, kept it growing, and kept the image of WSU increasing in importance and understanding throughout the state. It has become a really uh, important land grant university all over and is recognized as such. Sam, congratulations on receiving this award. You've gotten a lot of awards in your life, but this one probably is going to mean more to you and more to other people than uh, probably all the others. Congratulations. Dad, on behalf of our family and, and the larger WSU family, um, I'd like to repeat what you as president so many times told others. Uh, thank you uh, for your vision and dedication and service uh, to the cause of Washington State and congratulations on all of the successes that, that this award exemplifies. Your expression that you used was always making a difference for Washington State and the world. And I would say that's emblematic and indicative of who you are. So a big congratulations. We are proud of you and delighted to see you in this group. You are one of a kind. You are a true treasure, not only for our state, but for our world. You have touched so many lives in so many ways as a mentor, as a role model, and I am so lucky that I can call you my friend. So this is your day. I am privileged to be here to help honor you. Enjoy the honor. It is so very well deserved. Thank you for being you.